Yeah, I'll meet you there, dude. Bye. In a honky tonk out in Mexico, he wears a purple flag and a black mustache. In a honky tonk out in Mexico. Well, the first time that I saw him. In 1914, Della Cruz began a solo journey through North and South America on her two speed twin Harley with her dog Trouble. Consumed by the spirit of adventure, undeterred by society's notion that women should not ride motorcycles, Della knew it was her path to unfiltered freedom. Women have been riding motorcycles longer than we've had the right to vote. We all ride for the same reasons. Unspoken parallels between women riders. The most important reason of all, because we want to. raised in our society to be like delicate little flowers and just to be careful so a lot of us don't get into riding till a little bit later in life where most men start when they're just out of diapers so it can be a lot more intimidating especially when it doesn't come second nature to most of us so when you see women who might be your age or your size or at your skill level doing the things that you don't know if you're capable of doing it can be a lot more like welcoming to see that and know that you're capable because every woman should know that she's capable. for inspiration because to see the passion of when they're first learning to wheelie, you can't stop thinking about it until it's like it, it drives you. And I remember feeling that way when I first learned how to ride and I'm like, I need that back. So many women that I know are, um, they're scared of learning motorcycles and I want to get them on a motorcycle because you feel so empowered and strong and fearless and like you can take that into so many other aspects of your life. always found myself competing with the boys, but it also encouraged me at the same time. They would be like, oh, you can't do it like this though. Like a little flex. I'm like, yeah, watch this. Like a girl can do it too. I've been riding since I was three. Um, my whole dad's side of the family rides and I've just been on a motorcycle ever since I can remember. On the Harley, it's an adrenaline rush, and I love it more than anything. When we do stunt shows, I like riding the roll bikes because, yes, it's a Harley stunt show, but it brings a different vibe to it, and it brings out a, just more uniqueness to what we're doing. Like Also, being a female, it's cool to show the other girls that we can ride too, and we can play with the boys too. My name is Shomi Shoemaker, but most people know me as Troublemaker. I remember being pretty fearless 
I kind of just always had that little itch in me. I just wanted to be out there with the boys and I wanted to be on two wheels. I wanted to ride and I just, I was always surrounded by people who were really supportive. Once I got on a bike, I was just hooked after that. You shouldn't put so much pressure on like representation of women in the motorcycle community because it feels like a lot of pressure to fit in somewhere. For me, I don't like fitting in. I feel like women have such an opportunity to be beautiful in so many ways. All women have that potential, it's just what you do with it. I ever rode was my sports star. 33, first time ever, right to a Harley. First thought was, this feels amazing. I want this, I want more of this. Feeling powerful and confident, free. Immediate second thought was like, how do I share this with other people? How do I give it to more women? And I literally feel emotional right now because like, I feel like I'm doing that. And it's fucking huge. It's life-changing. The cadre of women have to break through barriers, and the news of these pioneers has to become accessible before other women follow. We acknowledge these pioneers. Della Crew completed one of the most expansive motorcycle journeys of her time. Beryl Swain was the first woman to compete in the Isle of Man race. Debbie Evans is one of the most credited stunt riders in Hollywood. Debbie Lawler broke Evil Knievel's record, jumping 16 Chevy trucks. Bessie Stringfield was the first woman of color to ride across the USA. Lillian LaFrance was the first woman to ride the Wall of Death. The Motobirds were the first all-female stunt group. They were women riding into a man's world, welcoming challenge and adversity. They were looking for equality, adventure, and opportunity. They were looking for trouble. Ha, ha, ha.